Hello, uh, welcome to my 25th uh, studio diary. I think it's 25. I could go and check, couldn't I? And then redo this intro uh, to make it look a bit more professional. Anyway, probably 25. Um, what have I been up to? Well, I've been recording a lot. Um, need to have a new album ready, sort of recording finished by about May, uh, if I'm to make a summer release, which is my intention. Um, but of course, it's the beginning of the year. February is coming up and I always do February album writing month. So the month of February is sort of already earmarked for other musical projects. So have to do quite a lot now. Um, so I have some snippets of studio stuff uh, to share with you. Um, I've been doing some sort of semi-regular um, in studio sort of commentary things uh, for my Bandcamp subscribers. So I shall give you a few little bits of those. What else has been going on? Well, uh, before Christmas, I uh, dealt with the Andes, uh, did what they uh, asked for and I got my laptop back. So that was pretty good. Um, Gareth, uh, the guitar player, briefly tried to sort of muscle in, uh, but he doesn't have the IT skills. So that was dealt with pretty quickly as well. So that's all gone. So that's quite good. Um, and then um, my Facebook group, I managed to rename that called it the Tom Slatter Immoral Supporters, again, as it should be. Um, and of course, you know, I had to celebrate, so I ended up posting this. First video in the group of 2021. Let's not talk about how 2021 is going in general. Uh, let's focus just on the group. Got the name back. Yeah, the Andes are out of my laptop. I did what they told me um, and I've got them out of there. I am the king of this group. I rule, I rule in your face, Andes. Screw you in your face. I win. And then sort of things went a bit weird again and uh, the group uh, sort of cover image changed. So um, I hope that Andes are, I think the Andes are dealt. The Andes are probably dealt with. It's probably fine, probably. Anyway, uh, here's some stuff from uh, Studio so you can see what I have been up to musically. Steam Life is a song from my second album, I Am Bark. So uh, recorded, uh, what, about eight, nine years ago? Uh, something like that. Um, why am I re-recording it now? Two reasons. One, I've always wanted to. Um, back then, although the performances are good, and obviously I think it's a good song, um, I couldn't record as well as I can now. Um, the drum sounds and the guitar sounds are not what I would like. Um, I mean, yeah, they're not bad. The song's perfectly listenable. It can be better. Um, this is Steam Life. Some of the original sounds are really good. Um, there's some stuff that's just called atmospherics. Uh, let me play you some of that. Um, it's sort of the intro and some of the middle bits as well. And it's just sort of, well, atmospheric sounds. I think it sounds really good. I can't remember how I made that at all. Um, you know, nine years ago, a bit of soundscape stuff. Same thing in the middle. And it happens under one of these guitar solos. So I like that. I also like, uh, there's some sort of good uh, synth parts. I think it's around about here. There's a sort of a synth solo that I think sounds pretty good. Uh, here. The steam of life lives. No guitars. Oh, I told like there are some guitars in there. Yeah, I like that. I like that synth solo. Uh, I think that's good. And I think there's some good bass playing under here as well. So let's hear them sort of uh, uh, just after that. Uh, just have a listen to the bass. Okay, let's have a go at the guitar parts. Can't be that difficult, right? Thank you. 
have to practice that. Who writes this stuff? Ben has sent me his keyboard parts. I've asked him to play on the uh, big, stupid, long prog rock song on the end of the, the next album um, that will be out next year, next summer. Um, so Ben has sent me a load of keyboard parts. I thought, why should I have to suffer alone? So I'm going to inflict them on you. Word of warning, none of this is mixed. All I've done is uh, thrown in the uh, various tracks and lined them up. So the timing should be right. The mix is not going to be right. You know, things will be too loud to be too quiet. Um, it'll be uh, all muddy because everything's um, uh, competing for the same uh, sort of space uh, in the spectrum. So don't expect to hear um, polished uh, mixes, but um, you'll hear good playing because um, all of those people are good uh, players. So I mean, I'm just going to do a bit of a tour, really, um, um, show you what's cool. Um, and hopefully it will act as a sort of a, uh, um, uh, a tease for what this big, long, stupid song is. It's about 20 minutes long. You'll just hear some little bits, most of the keyboard bits, um, but we'll see what else is interesting too. So let's literally just play, uh, press play, see what we get. Hey, uh, what I really like uh, in that little bit, there's this little synth uh, sound that sounds really nice. And then somewhere underneath that was some sort of growly thing. Is it this? Yeah. Um, and on top of that, there's some Hammond as well. Let's hear it with the Hammond. Just marking out some chords. Um, thing about Ben and Hammond organs is I mean you know Hammond and extra Hammond here there's a load of uh, Hammond organ on this uh, two at once at one point two Hammond organs at once <laughs> Nice and discord, um, and it's seen something stupid, 32, uh, 8, something like that. Because of course it is. And so, a little bit of a tour of uh, one of the tracks, the big long stupid track, uh, that's going to be on the next album. Working title is going nowhere, although uh, via Facebook chats that sort of um, uh, morphed via a typo into Going Norway. So currently that's called Going Norway. Who knows what uh, title it'll retain. Um, yeah, there you go. A little bit of a studio uh, update on some of the things that are being done. Um, I, lo I love this bit. I love this bit where you get back other people's parts that they've played for your music um it's fantastic it's fantastic because i didn't have to do very much work to turn out this really good stuff because someone else is um uh, uh very kindly doing some work for me um but also it's really good because it uh, it's always stuff that i wasn't wouldn't have written you know i can't play um those instruments anywhere near as well as those guys of course um but more than that um it's all their expertise in terms of uh what a good part should sound like i can write an okay bass part but it'll sound like a bass part written by a singer slash guitarist. I can program an okay drum part. It won't be bad, but it's not going to sound as creative or as interesting as the drums. Um, same with the uh, keyboards. Um, I can't do that. Uh, so this is one of my favourite parts of the process of writing something new. Uh, hearing someone else's uh, ideas, hearing what they think uh, should be happening with my music. Um, yeah. Uh, what else to say? A bit. Don't expect to hear the finished version for a long time yet. This is um, very early on in the project. Um, there's getting the music finished. There's working out all the artwork. There's um, getting it all mixed and mastered. There's all of that sort of stuff. And then there's uh, working out the best way to share it with the world um, and get as many years on it. So um, long process. That is the start of it. <laughs> 